like it's like a different feel, you know. We try to take it back, you know, on some of them like circle complete and the kickback, you know, goes from like one extreme to another to gotta get away to like storytelling type shit. It's good like a different feel, like it's see it's maybe on, on K Rock from like Kiss to Power type of shit, you know, a little variety. I'd say because it's worth it. It's worth buying. Most people just burn CDs and push them out. They don't consider what the listener is actually enjoying. It goes back to the artist of, I'm making music. And, you know, but you gotta sometimes consider it listening to it. Too, because you deserve it. We've been in this game for too long to not have some kind of recognition. I can drop names and I'm not, you know, but that just makes it bigger. And either way, funny because the haters end up coming around after anyway. It's good music. It's it's a good album. You know, I can put Ready to Die on let that album just play. I could do the same thing with this album. I, I could just put it on and just let it just let it go. To us it's old music. Just because you know it's a couple weeks old or whatever. In the new year it's like a whole new experience. But I'd say those are the people Good reasons why you should get the album made first. 5-1? Made first. 2008. Don't be all random I know. <laughs> I, you know. It's a combination of both what my two uh, cohorts just said. I mean, I definitely am feeling the, the variety of this album. You're feeling, I mean, this, this album is not just, you know, some songs that we put together. This album is our life, you know, so you get to know us after this year in this album. What better way to communicate with people than with the beautiful gift of music? You're not just buying this album, you're buying, you know, a lifestyle. You're buying who we are, and I think that's what every artist tries to put in music. I think we did a good job of doing that. But you're gonna get that variety. We live, I mean, we live the same lifestyle as hip hop forever, but you know, we got different paths in our life that we came to get to this point. Doing that created this this artwork, you know, I'm not saying it's like Vinci shit, but it's, it's, it's us, and it's not us trying to be you know, somebody else is us being us in this thing. It's a classic. It's classic. I mean, that's the hardest thing to do is to, to, to come up with something that can stand up, you know, to test the time. And I, and I think that our music is timeless, and that's a good reason to invest in something. Independence Day. <laughs> Five more. It's not just a group that somebody just threw together. Exactly. You know what I mean? We've known each other 10, 10 years deep. Yeah, man. Plus oh, being yeah. black, white, and Mexican, come growing up three different ways from three. Exactly. You know, people exactly. are kind of curious of what these three kind of put together, but knowing each other so well, you know, it's like a family. Yeah. You know, on stage, it's like I know when to jump in, when not to jump in, or just how to motivate each other and just keep it going. But. Where'd everybody go?